Hello guys, uh, doing a little update, doing a little cleaning on the rack, trying to get some of the cables all nice and tucked and just dusting it off a little bit. Um, yeah, this is how the side is, without the cover. Oh, so we got the, the 6248 non-POE, the 5448 edge router right there. Um, Got cooling fans, so they actually circulate a lot of the air, so all the air gets pulled in through here. And actually, when the panel's on, the air circulates through here, and all the heat comes out. I actually, created a little contraption pretty well. Um, it keeps it uh, cooled off very well. All the servers are less than. Let's see. Yeah. Right now they're at 75. Which is not too bad at all. I um, would like it to be a little bit lower, but it's not too bad. So, when it comes to be Wednesday next week, we'll be getting the Parridge R810. It'll replace one of the R710s, so we'll swap that out. I actually might keep them. We'll actually put it at the bottom and then play with it. I might do some uh, benchmarks on that since it has, I'm having four 10 core CPUs coming. I'm gonna have. Uh, do some uh, 3D mark uh, benchmarks with uh, the CPUs and see what kind of score we can get. So uh, yeah, little update for you guys so you guys can see what's happening. Um, debating on what to do. What do you guys think? Should I keep the SSDs for the R810? I mean the SSDs, the SAS drives for the R810 for ESXi, or should I pop it on the on the SD card, or should I put solid state drives? Um, Trying to get some input on that. But um, other than that, the sand's still staying. Might get a second one. We might make it bigger storage. This one's at 12 terabytes. Kind of already limited it. So we'll see. Um, yeah. So you guys, let me know what you think. Post in the comments. Um, other than that, uh, if you guys want to keep in touch on me, like my Facebook page. The link is in the description. Uh, if you guys can't find it, you guys can also search the GNet Data Center project on Facebook. I always uh, keep in touch with people on there.